Cardinals 49ers. Cardinals, hey, they looked like they were in trouble two Thursday nights, you know, ago against, uh, it was 28-14, and I went, oh, gosh, here we go, the 49ers. They're going to blow them out. And the Cardinals hung tough. And Kyler Murray's a superstar, everybody. He's a superstar. Thank God they cut Josh Rosen and drafted Kyler Murray. That's all I can say. Well done, Cliff Kingsbury and Steve Kime. Way to have the nuts, the kahunas, the balls, the guts to do that. That was a phenomenal pick, as you said, throughout the drafting process. Kyler Murray looks like a generational-type quarterback, and I think you're spot on, Mike Floyer. Macy, shut up, okay? We're doing a <laughs> podcast. Uh, but uh, how do you see this shaking out, Mike? Yeah, you know, I'm torn on this one because the Cardinals did give the 49ers everything they could handle. The 49ers operating on the short week after playing 70 minutes. Fortunately for them, they didn't have to travel. Both games are at home. But I, I, I think that Kyle Shanahan, your buddy, understands the importance of getting right back on the horse. They have some tough games coming up. They have the Packers at the Ravens and at the Saints over the next three weeks. They're going to win this one. Now, I don't know how I feel about them covering the spread. I'm just throwing a dart and saying 34-21, where they'll get that same kind of a lead this time, and this time around they won't blow it. That he'll challenge the defense to step up, and I think that defense is looking forward to the opportunity to correct some of the mistakes they made the last time around. It's not going to be easy, and uh, I, but I think the incentive is there. It's definitely there because this can spiral quickly. Because if they lose to the Cardinals this week, they're going to lose to the Packers next week. And then they go to Baltimore. And then they go to New Orleans. And this could all fall apart for the 49ers. And, and they need everything that they can muster and all their focus and all their rest and all their recovery and everything that Kyle Shanahan can do to get them ready to not blow this one because the real challenges are still coming. Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, I, I agree with a lot of what you said there. I think, you know, the things that jump out to me, first off, just like we were just talking about a little – you know, the, the, the 49ers are going to be pissed off, definitely. I guess what I'm a little worried about is they gonna be, are they going to be a little worn out from a five-quarter game, most physical game we've seen in football this year on Monday night? That does scare me a little bit. I also think the other angle I got here is just like, this is the first time Cliff Kingsbury is going against the same team for the second time in a year, right? This is his first time doing this, I believe, in his coaching career. I don't think he ever had a double matchup in, at Texas Tech. So that chess match, I always think that is hard for a coach the first time because you can't just go, oh, this is what we did the first time. Are you going to be smart enough to kind of see one step ahead to go, wait, I think they'll adjust this way next time, and I have to do this now? That, to me, is going to be an interesting dynamic. I do. Uh, but nonetheless, again, I liked what I saw from Jimmy Garoppolo for the most part of that game. I do. The interception he threw was not his fault. I think what clouded our judgment a little when I watched the film yesterday was the end of the game, as you've mentioned during the week. Should have thrown two interceptions on the last drive of the game. Missed an open Dante Pettis in overtime. Missed an open Debo Samuel down the right uh, sideline for a huge gain on their second or third possession of overtime. So, or the second possession of overtime. Uh, so I, I do look at that. And of course, Kyler Murray is the kind of guy that's scary. And he can make plays that I don't give a shit who the f*** your defense is. He can run around and throw f rifles and run and do shit like that, that you could have the greatest defense ever. You know, I don't, the 85 Bears would have had a hard time containing Kyler Murray sometimes and all that. So that's always scary. But I'm going with the 49ers to cover the spread. I'm going 31-16. I think they get back on track. And uh, I like them to do that. I still think they are in the conversation for the best team in football. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.